We have seen how to run a process from the control room by dragging and dropping the process onto a computer under available resources. But before even we did that, we ensured that the computer is showing as connected in the control room by logging into Blue Prism on that particular computer. This is fine for a development or a testing environment. However, it will be very inconvenient and counterproductive in a production environment where someone has to manually log into Blue Prism on all the computers. This is where Blue Prism's runtime resource comes to our rescue. A runtime resource is basically an instance of Blue Prism that can be launched and run in the background without the need to manually log in. In fact, whenever you launch and log into a Blue Prism application, a runtime resource is automatically start in the background. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I will launch Blue Prism by double clicking on this shortcut. And if I go to the notifications area, I don't see any icons relevant to Blue Prism. Now let's log into Blue Prism by entering the username and password. And now if we check the notifications area, we can see a new icon has appeared and it says Blue Prism Resource PC. And if we go to the control room, you can see it says Win7 BP Prod1 is connected. Now if I go to the notifications area, right click the resource PC, click exit, and refresh the control room, and if you see now, you can see Win7BP Prod1 went offline. So now you cannot run any process from the control room, but you can still run a process from the process studio. That is the reason why, if you remember in some of our previous videos, we saw two separate resources for the same computer. One as Win7BP Prod1 and the other one as Win7BP Prod1 underscore debug. Now if I go to the system tab and click settings, you can see an option called start a personal runtime resource on this machine when users sign into Blue Prism. If I uncheck this option, I get a warning that says any running sessions will now be terminated. Are you sure you wish to proceed? It basically says it is going to shut down the runtime resource, hence any processes running on this resource will get terminated. We don't have any processes running at the moment and moreover we have already shut down the runtime resource by clicking exit on the resource PC icon in the notifications area. So we will go ahead and click yes, then click apply and I will close Blue Prism. Now if I launch Blue Prism and log in and if I check the notifications area I don't see the resource PC icon. And if I go to the control room, Win7BP Prod1 says offline. This is because we unchecked the option to start a personal runtime resource from the system tab. So what we have logged into right now is called an interactive client and the one that shows in the notifications area as a resource PC is called a runtime resource. When we deploy the code into production, we really don't have to launch the interactive client on all the machines. We can simply start a runtime resource and that's all it's required to run a process. So let me show you how to launch a runtime resource without launching and logging into Blue Prism Interactive Client. I'll first close the Blue Prism Interactive Client. Well, it's not necessary to close the Interactive Client, but I'm just closing it so you can get to see how the runtime resource can be launched independently, which is how it's done in a production environment. I'll click Start, type CMD, and hit Enter. And I'll type the command C colon backslash, program files backslash, Blue Prism Limited, Blue Prism Automate, Automate.exe. And if I hit enter at this point, the Blue Prism Interactive Client will be launched. But we don't want to do that, so we will type space and add a switch called slash resource PC, which will launch Blue Prism as a runtime resource instead of an interactive client. And we will type another switch called slash public. The public switch enables the resource PC to be available to all the users and to all the computers which means this resource PC will be visible from the control room of all the computers and not just this computer. Alright, I will hit enter and you can see a resource PC is launched. You can also see that in the notifications area. You can hide this by clicking the hide button and you can still see it in the notifications area. And also if you open the task manager, you can see the automate process is running. Now if I go to my other computer which is Win7BP Prod2, log into Blue Prism.
and I'll go to the control room. You can see Win7BP Prod1 is connected, though we don't have the interactive client launched on that computer. Now you don't have to type this command every time you log in. You can set it up as a startup script so that whenever the computer is logged in, it automatically launches the runtime resource. In order to do that, click start, type task scheduler and hit enter. Then right click on task scheduler, click create basic task and give a name for the task. I will name it as start BP runtime. You may type a description if you want. I will just leave it blank for now and click next. Now we need to specify when this task has to be executed. We want it to run the task at logon. So I will select the option when I log on and click next. Select the option start a program and click next. Now here type the program name which we typed earlier in the command prompt or you can just browse to the folder Blue Prism Automate and select the application Automate then click open and you should see it automatically populated the complete path. Now in the add arguments field mention the two switches which are slash resource PC space slash public and click next and in the action you can see the complete path to the program along with the switches have come then click finish and you are done now I will close the task scheduler log off windows then I will log in back And you can see the runtime resource has automatically launched. Now there may be processes where you use active accessibility mode or region mode and this resource PC window may interfere with the actual applications involved in the process. So we can actually launch this runtime resource in invisible mode where it shows only the notifications area and this window will not pop up. All we need to do is add an additional switch called invisible to our existing command. So I will open the task scheduler again click the task scheduler library right click on start BP runtime click properties go to the action tab click the action and click edit then add the switch slash invisible and click OK now if I exit the task scheduler and I will exit the runtime resource then log off And if I log in again, you can see that the resource PC window did not show up. However, if I go to the notifications area, I can see the runtime resource. I can right click and select show to show up the window. If I go to the Win7 BP Pro 2 machine and check the control room, it says connected for our Win7 BP Pro 1. Alright, so that is how you set up a resource PC to launch automatically at logon. In the next video, we will see how to automate the login process itself using a software called Login Agent. Thank you for watching and we will see in the next video.